Can I just like fall? Yeah, I don't want to deal with you. Alright, where is the entrance to where I want to go? Ah, that's the elevator. I don't want to go that way. <clears throat> Do I need to go across? I think I need to go across. Oh, God. No, thank you. I don't want none. Fast travel anywhere. Um, let's see. When he gets a sealed threshold again, what is this one right here? Yeah, let's go there. I don't want none, yeah. It's true. Don't want none. Don't need none, don't want none. Oh, I had, I, that's right. I forgot. I ended the stream with an extra, um... With an extra mod slot. I'm never gonna use spin. Just never gonna use shatter. I have... Do I have charge? It's not that great. Okay. So, let's see... Headshot damage is pretty good. Damage while low health is pretty neat too, because we do that a lot. Ammo cost while levitating is reduced. Um, probably one of these. Let's do that. Uh, I can probably get rid of that one too. There you go. Oops. Let's get there. Okay. Uh, all right. If I do this, Astral Constructs. Can I upgrade any of these? No, I just died too many times, and I lost a lot of that money. Alright. That's fine. I have a, another power-up, so let's do that. Let's do slam. Do I want to do slam? I mean, it sounds good to have slam. I could also just get more health in general, or more energy. I think I might do energy, because I've been using a lot of the energy lately. Okay. Cool. Okay. Alrighty, let's go to the sealed threshold, which is this way. No, that's the bathrooms. This way. And then take a right. And go through all the clocks. Go through all the clocks. And paper lantern? Show me your pretty face. Get a clock. I have another clock. Oh, that was a rock. There you go. You're dead. Okay. I believe that was all of them. So, yeah, there's a um, paper lantern here somewhere. Is that That's it? an altered item up there. Looks like I need to hit that shield harder. Gotta hit it real hard. There's the lantern. I got it. That wasn't so bad. Cool. 
This item, sh item should be kept in a locked containment cell. Any prolonged opposition of the item should be avoided. The item is a paper lantern known as the Chochin. The paper is red and elegant black Japanese characters that translate to ramen. The item has an attractive effect that is both physical and psychological. Nearby objects gravitate toward the item with a minor force. Uh, more notably is the ability to track sentient organisms which is rich gold with its rich red color and warm comforting glow. Nice. Okay. Cool. So we got it. Dude, ramen sounds so good. Ramen so good. Uh, this way to the fast travel point. Okay. Next one. A uh, medical wing. So I think I probably have to go to logistics and then travel up to the medical wing. You want that lantern? It's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, um, go through here and then take a left to medical. This is where the, um, the mold dudes are at, I think. Yeah, this is where the mold guys are at. So if I hang out in here, all the mold guys will come to me. Oh, nope. Never mind. There it is. Still his bound. Oh. I still have hiss. Ah, right in there. Somewhere, right? Wait, do they keep respawning? Do I have to do it in a certain amount of time? Okay, now it's done. Okay. What is this? Got a hand chair. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's one of those chairs. <laughs> I was wondering what it meant by hand chair. Must be kept in isolation, removed from other unsecured objects. A uh, plastic seat shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. The hand's palm forms a seat with the fingers acting as the chair is backed. The item affects gravitational forces, attracting and repelling objects near itself with a force of, I don't know, its fingers have also been observed to change position. Though too quickly to be witnessed or filmed, the item may be changing forms rather than moving. The item also only displays these effects during full moons. <laughs> oh, sample analysis confirms that it contains human genetic material. Gross! Found in a warehouse in um, Albany, a team of rangers trainees accompanied by experienced field agents were dispatched to look, investigate local rumors when they encountered the item. They successfully retrieved the item. Okay. It's a wear chair. All right, now I need to go to dead letters. Oh, I've never been in here. I like the idea of a wear chair. It's spooky. 
Okay, let's just go back this way. If only I had security level six. What's back here? Did I come from here? Yes, I did. Okay. God, it's so empty in this place. All right, fast travel to the dead letters. Dead letters, I think we're in the main room. Yeah, okay. What if this, you sat down in the chair and never let it go? It's like beel juice, grabs you. Holds you down. What kind of noises would a chair make? It's fart noises. People always blame the chair for fart noises. It's the chair. That's no normal piece of paper. Okay, we need to know where it is. God, piece of paper, you're making this very hard. Oh, wrong button. Here, just be my friend while I'm doing this, okay? You have my back. Okay, if I hold F, maybe I'll... Yeah, here? There's more pages? Oh, I thought you had my back, dude. Ouch. I am a walking bomb. Just be my friend. You be my friend too, okay? Keep accidentally hitting the F button and changing my uh, gun. Dude, have my back a bit. What's the point of making you my friend if you're not going to shoot anybody? Thank you. Oh, he's dead. I see. Thank you. All right, other pieces of paper. All right, um... Still in dead letters. I hear it. Have we been up here? I don't think we've ever been up here. Smoking ban. Thanks to the recent smoking ban in my state, I'm happy to inform you that I have will not be voting for you in the next election. As everyone knows, smoking is being banned because the smoke is toxic to aliens that the government sold their planet to in <laughs> the secret deal. If humans keep smoking, the aliens won't be able to live on Earth. Our air will be poisoned to them. If your government traders can't stop people from smoking, then you won't get your millions of dollars from the aliens. I have a website. People know what's going on. You're going to keep smoking no matter what. This is a national emergency. Politicians are handling the plant 
handing the pendant over to the alien overlords. We won't let you. We will resist. I will smoke forever. Signed, Proud Smoker Rebel Patriot. Oh my god. Finally, the truth comes out. That's what we've been waiting for this entire time. Got it. Get it. So right and so wrong. I love the dead letters. The dead letters, I think, are my favorite spot because everybody is so kooky. Uh, what was the word that that one guy used in his letter? Um, she wasn't. She was like mad. Oh, I can't remember what it was now. I have to find that letter. White Kitchen. Dear gentlemen and society of sciences, it has been some time since I sent my initial letter. I hope it is not the case that you have dismissed my claims outright. In that hope, I am writing you to one more ask for your help in understanding the oddity that has befallen me in my home. I've recently began renting a new apartment in the city. The space is nothing special, though for a time I found the isolation quite soothing. Recently, I began experiencing a strange occurrence. When I'm in my kitchen, a tiny little thing with not much about a sink, I sometimes lose myself. My surroundings changes. I find myself standing on a strange dark stone. I stare out in the colored sky, as white as undisturbed snow, terrified and moving. Perhaps this is a brain issue. I think not, as it feels terribly real. This has been occurring for some months now, and I have become frightened of entering the kitchen. If it's not too much for you an inconvenience, I will dearly appreciate a visit from one of your professionals to see what to make of it. I await your response with a little expectation, but with great hope. Yours truly, Lorraine Fitzgerald. Upsit. Thank you. The word is upsit. Upsit. Okay. So... This is the first level up, right? Okay. Yeah, I think you can only get up here through flying. Which I'm fine with. I'm so upset. Got that devil music. <gasps> Daisy Low, thank you for them bits. You're off to making breakfast. Oh my god, it sounds so good. Enjoy it. Have fun. Thank you. Uh, oh, here's another dead letter. Pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. Um, I wonder what this is. That was clearly redacted. Okay. Something redacted from that. Don't want to miss anything. There's so many good stuff. Okay, what's this? Cat clock! My cock is shaped like a cat and its eyes move. And I think it's angry, but I keep apologizing and it won't stop. But I keep saying, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. But it won't leave me alone and I don't know what it wants and I can't keep apologizing. You see it now, too. It told me everything is here, and I need to be careful so they don't see me writing this letter. It wants me to stay with it with its eyes, and its eyes moving so very fast. But I can't keep going. I worry that they will forget about me, so I need to write to you about this because I can't keep going about the cat because of its eyes. Redacted. Cat clock eyes. Aha, there's the last one. I'll touch you here in a second. I'm gonna read this. Hey! You have questions and profits of your answer. If you are have truly intrigued, watch the time. We lost about 45 days in the past four years. The shortening of days. This is why the Vatican is a sundial. Also, simultaneously a keyhole. Another thing while I'm here, if you want to know a secret to everything compared, plasma next to your brain cells. The sun plus moon are composed of plasma, simply light, not planets. After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of where you, I, and humanity reside. Cheers. So many good things in this dead letter room. Sweet. 
done and done. Cool. Not ready to leave yet. Oh. Thought that was a dude. Gimme, gimme. Vivid dreams. To the STEM members of the American Psychotic Psychiatric Council, I'm writing to an inquire about the significance of dreams in relation to one's mental health. I'm aware that there are many purposes or books purporting to contain the true meaning of dreams, but I have reservations about their legitimacy. I understand that this is not usually done, but if I would greatly appreciate your thoughts on my condition. Ever since I was young, I have had intensely vivid dreams. The only occur sporadically, but in them I witness very strange events. I understand dreams can seem real to at the same time. But these feel remarkably different. They do not occur often. Perhaps only one or one or two a year. Last night I had one. I saw a small empty town. It was utterly dark. There was a lake at the center. Shadows of people moved around me muttering odd things. A bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes before I woke. Before, because of this in recent incident, I have decided to seek help. The doctor says I am physically fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. Thank you for your valuable time. Richard Bowker. Hmm. Oh, King Blue Enemy. Yeah, this game is amazing. I have been excited to play this game for a long time. Well, that's good. That's good. Is this the same? It is. Full letters. The sounds give you headaches. All the, the whispering. I think that's the end of the dead letters for me. Alright, let's go back to Langston. Uh, he's in Panopticon. The Whispering. Yeah, I could see that. I... I feel like the game's story is so good that I keep keep wanting to play it, even if it does be affect me after a time. But yeah, it's it's a it's a really neat game. This way. Hey, listen to this. Containment failure in Panopticon cell sixty nine. Nice. Get it? Sixty nine. Nice, nice, nice. I do not see what is humorous about an escaped paranatural entity. Oh my god, just say nice! 69, sir. But you just said it! Come on, you guys, it's funny! <laughs> I found all those missing altered items. All of them? Wow, you have a gift, ma'am. But those weren't all of the altered items missing from the Panopticon. The hiss must be making them restless. We've had several more containment breaches. How many of these things did he lose? How many? Just a couple. Should be no problem for you. I really appreciate your help. Really. Just super. Just super. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. So... Like always. I have a cat to feed. Yeah, I heard about your cat earlier. Um, flamenco? <gasps> the rubber duck! We have to do this one! We have to do the rubber duck! <sighs> Alright, we got three, three ability spots. Um... Let's ground slam it. I appreciate these because I get more points. Um, wait, what's the first one? Uh, threshold sealed room. Okay. I appreciate like the extra experience and ability points that we get from these things. Yeah, they're like fetch quests, but they're fun fetch quests. All right, where is flamenco? That's odd. Oh, did we ever read about those papers? Let's 
letters. Yeah, here you go. Stack of four envelopes, each containing a single paper, uh, page of paper. All four letters were legibly. Due to extreme water damage, the envelopes cur curiously do not show any sign of such damage and are covered in messages of love. Aww. The M's are, about, are able to move short distances at a pace less than we saw how fast they were. This is the first altered item to have multiple separate parts, a fact previously believed to be impossible. The proposal to make this items outside the oldest house and follow their movements in its final destination is under consideration. Items found in the dead letter archives where they heard archivists found in attempting to escape a filing cabinet. She reports having no record of the item. Okay. Um. Where is this flamingo? Flamingo? It's in here somewhere. Let's keep looking. Keep a looking. Oh, this is pink. <laughs> oh, 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 that's creepy. It's got to be an altered item. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, so we don't touch it. me you that was intense oh good this thing again crap you got into another altered item what does this thing want is it fighting the boy fell down one of its, uh, the holes that it made. Great. Destroyed so much of this platform already. Pretty eye. You know what? I'm just gonna boogie over to this other one. Dead. Oh, 
Man, these holes. These holes. Ugh. Oh. Flamingos. Too pink. Too pink. Too pink. That's all she says. Too pink. They're so pink. Ugh. I hate them. I hate the thing that was inside of them. Pink plastic finingo lawn ornament. Two steel prongs extends from the underside. The item is suspected to influence atmospheric physics, altering metal meteorological phenomena in the area. This is currently unconfirmed. Okay. Blech. That's all I can say is what? That better be like the only boss we fight out of all these things. Oh good. Oh good. You know, I like fighting you guys. Whatever. I hate that thing. I hate the Healy thing. Ugh! Getting tilted from that giant fight. Alright. Alright, well I don't have to be here. Um, protective studies. It's the closest one to protective studies. Let's go there. Oh my goodness. That giant squid. I don't even know what to call that thing. It's a squid. It's just a giant, giant squid. It's an annoying giant squid. Alright, uh, we need to go this way. Oh, we're doing the duck one. Okay. Oh, there's a rubber duck. I see you. I see you, Ducky. Altered item number 52A. Oh, that's right. She did stuff to the duck already. I will begin by introducing various stimuli. Really listen to that. Oh yeah, you guys are here. I forgot about that. Um... <laughs> yeah, you guys heard the duck, right? Ooh, secret. Secrets! long. What? What? Hello, duck. Oh! Disappearing ducks. Great. Disappeared on me. I hear it. Duck. Where'd he go? Where'd the duck go? How do you contain it? How do you contain this duck? Wait, maybe if I go backwards at it. Don't look at it. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, 
All right. Let's listen to this, maybe. Altered item number 52 AE analysis, session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. Okay, the shock doesn't do anything to it. We know that for sure. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. Doesn't burn. We know that. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 4. So mocking. The duck's quack is so mocking. You're right, Daisy. squats in. No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. Wait, I almost had it. I nearly had it. Where is it? Got it. Finally, no more quacking. <laughs> Uh, this item is a yellow rubber duck bath toy from the 1950s. A single hole at the bottom allows the air and water flow out. Uh, the item makes a sound of analogous to quacking. The item travels a considerable distance with surprising speed. How it achieves this motion is unknown. The item forms a blank of unknown purpose with anyone who makes physical direct contact with it and begins to follow them. Quacking. This has led to a, a researcher named Blank entering cardiac arrest through, though due to individual health issues, the matter may not be connected. Okay, so quacking. I guess that's all that's left is the mannequin. Ugh. Ugh, mannequin. Uh, ritual division? No, it's in containment. Might be faster to go to logistics. Okay. This episode is just us doing minor story quests. All fetch quests. If this mannequin follows me, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, okay. Go through security. Get him. You, know, you be my friend, okay? Help me out. Oh, you got a healy dude. Where's your... Where's your bubble? Dead. Dead. Oh my god, how am I missing you? 
Is it in there? Did it seriously spawn in here? It's hiding in the safe room. Son of a bitch. Hiding in the safe room. Whoa, I punched a hole through here? Can't go in here? Whoa, secret rooms? Was anybody aware that there were secret rooms in this game? Is there one on this side too? No, that's an empty room. Okay, um... I can go that way. Is it in here? Wait, what's this? How do we miss this? Glow procedure. Item is handmade, set in dark wood. Itself... Items lacquered, hand painted, spins freely on an axis. While the continents of the oceans are recognizable of those on Earth, careful examination has revealed numerous inconsistencies and other geographic additions that do not exist on our planet. One of these islands has a city marked on it named Tanrelio. There are no signatures left by its markers. Physical contact renders subjects dizzy and disoriented, with some reports of feeling unfamiliarity with their surroundings. This effect seemed to grow worse with prolonged contact, culminating in a sense of listlessness and depression. Suicide has been observed in ten handlers. Ah, uh, still have no. Okay. All right, how do I get into this room? It's not that way. It's definitely not this way. This way? How do I get in there? Do I have to go around? Wait, what's this? Oh god, waste mannequin. The item was last owned by Madame Blank, an operated performer from Berlin. After her career ended in the public scandal, she relocated to Blank uh, made for reasons unknown with her other trappings of her old life. Locals report she rarely left her home in the short years she spent. After her death caused by the mannequin, the state held a public auction of her belongings, seen as she had no known relatives. Various conflicting first-hand reports exist, but testimonies provided by witnesses of the event do contain some common elements. Most every witness saw numerous mannequins break through the house windows, tumbling outside. Some witnesses report bright lights. Some report high-pitching singing. These are unverified. Numerous citizens inside the house at the time were, of the incident were hospitalized for various injuries. Two were crushed to death. Agents were dispatched upon scene. An article regarding these events during the Bureau's daily scans of national periodicals. The item was quickly identified and brought to the Bureau. Okay, so mannequins. Mannequins, eh? Right, I think I have to go around the long way. So this will take me upstairs, I think. Let me go through here and then I go back down. Right? No? not really where I want to be. How do I get there? I just want to get down there.
How do I get there? Uh, well, this is clearly a room I haven't been to, so maybe I can't get into it yet? And I really don't want to fight again. Yeah, looks like I might need clearance for this. Maybe. Yeah, I think I can't do this one yet because I don't have the clearance for it. It's obviously in a room I've never been to, so... But! Alright. Fine. We'll go back and do some quests. Go back and do some real quests, I guess. I really wanted to see what this was! I don't really want to fight you guys, so I'm just gonna... Peace out. Um, Central Executive. Sorry. Don't really want to deal with you. Just gonna peace out, leave, go talk to Emily. See Dylan! Say hi! Hi, brother. We didn't abandon you. You were just stolen from us by a very secretive bureau of our government, and we couldn't find you. Because you happen to be living in a place that doesn't want to be found. Unless it wants you to find it. So, eat your pizza, and let's have a reunion. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant Ooh, there's a lot of more stuff range. here. But how did Darling create it? I couldn't it's get to the mannequin. After all these I don't years, think I have the clearance. Dylan is here. Which sucks! I really want to do the mannequin. How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems- it's Super obvious when you get near to it. Oh no. Oh no. Does it follow you? I want to see- I'm him. out. My brother. I'm out. Or is he? Of course. And Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. It's the pizza Jesse. that's protecting him. It's true. Be careful. He's got that pizza protection. All right, let's see what these are. Timeline of events. To examine the invasion's timeline of events for possible patterns in his behavior, establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of lack of reliable communications between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary models indicate ground zero of the evasion is located within the executive ex sector. Once it becomes possible to interview per surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding questions that the timeline may have helped answer. How did the Hiss get past the internal lockdown? How does the Hiss resonance advance through space? Delivery or uniformly? What is their ultimate goal? The outside world? Cross-dimensional destination? Okay. Pizza power. That's what the turtles run on. Pizza power. Speech analysis. If we understand the hiss to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their er, incantation, which is now agreed upon term for their vocalization, is an effort to express what that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences in the incantation were recited in a different language? The most common word used is want. Interesting, every usage of the word is attributed to you. You want to listen. You want to this to be true. You must want these waves to drag you away. Are we the you? The hiss are referring to? Does the hiss believe humanity, possibly of all non-hiss life, wants to join it? To be consumed by it? Is that its goal? The second most words used words are through and time. Is this possible the hiss stating how they arrived here or indication of its age? There is clear intention of the words dismissing this incantation as nonsense as some of my colleagues recommend is beyond idiotic. Uh, last one. Let's see. Researchers were sent to transcribe the recursive chat repeated by the Hiss entities. In the in interest of safety, this was done with non-aggressive floating Hiss entities. However, no distinction between this repeating phase and the one repeated by the more violent Hiss entities have been observed. What is the purpose of the repeating string of words? Is this how the Hiss corrupts individuals? Does the chant produce a physical effect? Is it a message, an incantation? 
be able to record the first hand reci uh, rec recitation of the chanting. Okay. Wait, there's a record of this? Where? Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, apart from those two freaking boss fights, holy crap. Oh, my God. Did she have to write everything in her made-up gibberish code? Fucking Marshall. Your CIA spy shit. God. What's this? Put a record on. What? Oh, it's a jukebox. <gasps> I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. Yeah, uh, the jukebox. jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? The Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have brought back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Hmm. Put in the token and enjoy the ride. Okay. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Okay. Remember. So... If we put the token in, we go to the quarry, and then I'm guessing there's another boss. Ugh, I don't know if I could take another boss this time. There's too many bosses. Also, this black rock, this pyramid is ridiculous.